Hey guys, just wanted to show you a quick video on how to patch in new fixtures into the HOG control system. Uh, so this is just a quick tutorial. I'm going to open up uh, HOG 4. This is the software that we use Sunday morning just to run our lighting program. Uh, so you'll just open up that, that icon. You'll go down here to launch existing show. Click on that guy. And the uh, as the software loads, it'll quickly uh, take control of the lighting. You'll see the room will kind of get dark. You're going to go up here and hit live and that kind of brings up our custom menu that we've set up here at Northside. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring up some of the gym lights so we can have some light in here. So I'll just kind of manually turn those on. You'll see that I had uh, like selected uh, the gym house lights over in this section here and then na navigated down here to this slider bar uh, which then controls uh, intensity. Uh, another way of controlling intensity are these uh, these sets of knobs here. This one right here controls intensity. Uh, you'll see um, the far left knob also correlates to the far left box up here, which labels the uh, what that knob does and the percentage of where that current fixture is at. So you'll see as I raise and lower it, it's changing that number value. Uh, so just some quick ways to understand the menu there. Uh, up here on the left, you have a, a group directory. Uh, this is kind of just all our current fixtures that are uh, currently put in into the system. They're ready to go. They're programmed. Uh, position directory, this is other groupings of these fixtures. So we can take a fixture here, uh, this set here. So these are all of the LEDs. And, and then we've now programmed these into different position directories. Uh, from a position directory, you can then make a queue. And there'll be more videos to follow on how to do that exactly. Uh, but, day, but today, I wanted to just run you through uh, some quick uh, ways of patching in new fixtures. So what I'm going to do is uh, click unselect these. I'm going to show you that real quick. So uh, what you're going to do, say you have uh, a new fixture coming in that you wanted to set up for the program. You're going to go down here to Setup. And you then you'll see that this bottom menu of the screen changed. Uh, you're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to this button that says Patch. You're going to click on Patch. And now well, this menu is now a listing of all the lights that are currently patched into the system. You have all of our uh, auditorium lighting, which is the desk channels, all these desk channel lightings. Um, so all of the gym lights, all of the uh, PAR 38s, PAR cans. Um, stage lighting, all those kinds of things like that. If you and you, as you navigate further down the list, you'll see more of these LEDs. Uh, you'll see the color bands and the mega bars and the intimidators, uh, and how each of them have a number name. The DP uh, universe it's in, um, and then the patch name that's or the patch number that's been given. Notate that there's a difference between the name right here on the left and the patch number. You'll see like right here that uh, number 210 is not, you know, does not mean it's patch at 210. That's just the name that we gave that certain light, but then the patch that it's actually in, in the DMX is 146. So just make sure you don't get that confused as you're patching in a new fixture. That you will name it a different, give it a different number name and then you'll patch it to the actual DMX number that you want to assign to it. So, uh, to patch in a new fixture, you're going to go up here to the top left in this menu, Fixture Schedule. And you'll see another menu pop up that gives a brand listing of all the different uh, well-known manufacturers of lights. Uh, you know, we do a lot of American DJ, a lot of Chave lighting here. So you're going to, know, you're going to uh, navigate down to the Chave folder. And then you're just going to try to find your, uh, your light. Sometimes you'll, you'll pick up a light that's not in the list, but most of the times it will be in here. Uh, recently I just uh, patched in some intimidators. Uh, so we'll go down here, go intimidator spot, LED, uh, 150 advanced. And then once you do that, you need to tell how many of those lights you're going to be patching in. So in this little bar here where it says count, you'll just say how many, and you'll hit enter. Once that's done, you're good to go. Hit enter or hit OK. And then you'll see uh, those lights uh, that you just mentioned come into selection at the, at the bottom. Uh, from there, uh, you'll then be able to come in here and select that light that you just turned on. And the way to give it a uh, name 
is you're gonna click on it right here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and that little pop down button uh, balloon will pop down. And this is where you'll type in the number name, not the DMX channel again, the number name. Uh, so in this case, we assigned this light at 404. The other one we signed at 405. Uh, and that's how you do that. So then once you get it, your name, then you're good to go. And now you're able to assign a DMX patch. This is a little bit different, so this is a tricky. Uh, when you want to assign uh, a DMX fixture like address, you're going to go to, uh, you're going to make sure that everything is cleared out in your little box menu here. You'll see as I'm kind of typing or clicking buttons um, that uh, this uh, this little this little box here will fill with whatever you've you know had pushed. Uh, so just be aware of that that you want this cleared out, nothing in there. So just hit backspace a few times to know, hey, okay, we're we're good to try something new. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to patch in a new fixture. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this guy right here, that fixture that we just named at 404. And so I'm going to type in on the keyboard 404 and then at. Hit the at sign right here. So now that brings up this menu. Uh, here you can assign, uh, once you're in this menu, you can assign what DMX signal you want to assign to that. So uh, without typing or touching anything else, you're just going to assign it a DMX address. So we assigned this one at 223. So you're going to type in 223 on the keypad, on the keyboard, and then hit enter. And now you'll see that that fixture, that 404 fixture, is assigned to DMX signal or channel 223. Okay? Uh, and then you would just continue on with your other lighting and other fixtures that you wanted to add in. And that is how you add a new fixture into the hog system.